Hi guys, so I don't make Yu-Gi-Oh videos uh, as much as I should genuinely, but like anyone else that plays Perlay, I was absolutely saddened uh, to the one to Delicious on the ban list. Now, I understand why Delicious is probably the best one uh, to hit pure, uh, purely hurt. Uh, Purely because, I, personally, in my opinion, the two broken cards would be happy and sleepy because the things that they can do. But if you hit delicious, it may, it means, you know, it does hit some of the, uh, like, line of plays you can play in this deck. Now, the reason for this video is uh, I played this specific list with the ban list, even though the ban list isn't a thing yet, at my locals, and I managed to win. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I did. So... I, I run the uh, I run one snow and two brow because I'm an idiot. Uh, one day they'll come out. Who knows? Uh, three ash blossoms because I unfortunately am poor and I don't have better hand traps. I run three of uh, each of the parallel monsters. One draw for this uh, designate does that cost me because my my locals play a lot of um, draw a lot of birds which suck. Now as you can tell, there's a rege <laughs> there's regekis. In this deck, there's also even lease in this deck, and it's like, bruh, why are you running these? I built this deck purely to go blind second, and it worked for me. I beat full power Kashtira with this as well, which was very crazy. Um, but he didn't exactly open up the, with the best of boards, which was fine. Now, because we lost two copies of Delicious, and I still want to try and see a Delicious, I've put three copies of Foolish Burial. Now, someone's going to come out with a much better build than me. Fingers crossed they do, because... Honestly, sometimes Foolish Burial, I didn't see what I want, but rather than me thinking, oh, a Foolish Burial, my Delicious, you know, I can guarantee myself a Delicious. There were times I would Foolish Burial a Pretty uh, or a, a Happy Memory, and it was just, plays were just there. I had everything that I needed. So Foolish Burial to me is definitely uh, something that I, I enjoy. But again, there's probably like engines out there you'd put in the deck rather than this. But this is how this is how I played it, and I thought I'd share with you guys. So obviously three three one of the of the sad fat kitty sad, uh, spell card sad three of the cross out designator. I technically uh, I I was gonna run a call by the grave, but as you can see, forty three cards. I don't like going above forty, but I threw this together at the store at the time. Uh, three happy, three my friend Pearly because I'm. Well, it's still good and it's still an, uh, an option to attempt to get delicious. And then I have three impermanence, three evenlies, and uh, a Pearly. I would run um, lightning storms if I own them, but I don't, hence the, the regekis. Uh, now, I don't have a side deck because that's something that I'm testing around, so I'm keeping that to myself like everyone else does. My extra deck is a bit obvious. I, I messed about with it a little bit more. So we've got now one plump. Uh, here out of this year, pretty much anything I ever changed. Uh, happiness is pretty much a nice card for end game, like near the end game, so you can just get that extra bit of damage if you need to. Uh, Noir is still probably the best thing to end on. Uh, Downard with Zeus is just, you know, at this time it's just needed now these days in case you kind of get stopped. And then you can go into something like uh, Sprite, uh, and then you can just poke and then do that if you need to. Uh, I run Liralusk Thrush <laughs> because I think it's really funny. Uh, I don't exactly have a lot of cards uh, to put in my extra deck. So I was like, you know what, Thrush, it, 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 what was it? It, it does again. It's, uh, I think it was, uh, you detach one material from this card, target one spell, your opponent controls and shuffle it into the deck. Love it. Absolutely love it. Any floodgates get fucked. We don't like them. They're dick. You know, be a, don't be a dickhead is what I'm trying to say. However. Continuing on, I run uh, Kick and Ganji Fucho. I probably pronounced that wrong. Who cares? It's a it's burp that can't be touched, unless you have a kaiju. Then well, no shit. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'll ruin three cards in my side deck. I run three Mask of Restrict. Okay, that's purely because fuck kaiju's. <laughs> but I understand why they're a thing. Now, again, as I said, I don't have a lot of options when it comes to my extra deck because poor man be poor. I do run the IP Mascarena thing because. There, there, I used it once. There was a time where I could genuinely do it. It was fine. Um, it says two months of different names, obviously. You use IP Mascarina at the time, uh, which was handy. And then Link Karibo is... Sometimes I used to see... I always had one Perlay just stuck on the board, and it was like, what do I do with it? Link Karibo, perfect little option just to throw it out there. It's a form of some kind of protection, in a sense, um, uh, which is pretty nice, so... 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's not exactly the best, oh my god, did, did, did someone fix the format for Pule? It's just how I play the deck. And I haven't seen anyone else put anything out yet. So I thought, you know what, guys? This is, I won a locals with this. Uh, I beat a cash tier player who um, didn't bring out the best board, but I still beat a cash tier player before the ban list hits, baby. So I hope you guys uh, like this. And before a comments go, yeah, I, I did the ban. I'm in the ban list before, it, it, you know, it's an actual thing. And I do that because I want to, you know, guarantee that I know what I'm doing when the ban list hits regardless. Uh, even if I have to play against stuff that's going to get banned, which is fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video. I hope this is brought life to people i would suggest building a blind going second pro lay deck but for me it worked um hopefully it works for you guys and i'm looking forward to other content creators or anyone else's amazing ideas for pro lay to keep them viable for uh like you know tier format although they are still viable obviously but you know in in my heart my heart broke when they got they they got hit by the ban list this early but yeah thank you guys for watching bye